Hello everyone, welcome to Vishesh Educational Videos. In this video, I am going to explain three most important concepts of probability, especially they are going to be used in probability distribution. So those uh, probability concepts are mean, standard deviation and variance. So in this video, I am going to explain what is mean, what is a standard deviation and what is a variance. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel to get the notification of my new videos. Please click the bell icon. So let me begin the explanation of this three most important concepts of probability that is mean, standard deviation and variance. So first I will explain mean. So mean is nothing but it is the expected value of some random variable x that is given by a symbol e of x and also it can be referred as long term average or mean so don't get confused here this is the definition to understand this in simple words mean is the weighted sum of all possible values comma weighted by their probabilities in simple words you have to add all the values right you are going to add all the values weighted values with the probabilities with when i explain with the example you are going to understand this concept in a very easy way okay so mean is nothing but a sum of all the weighted possible values weighted by their probabilities so this is the formula so you are mean is denoted by e of x you know that e of x is equal to right sum of i is equal to 1 and n this is the from 1 to n you have to consider the value of i from 1 to n n means so your values can be from it can start from 1 and it can end to n n values means you can consider any number of values and vi into p of vi now what is vi vi is values p of vi is probability of values so when you add the sum of all the values with the probabilities of values you have to add the values and also the probabilities of that values when you add that you are going to find the mean at the center of the probability distribution i'm going to explain with the example no worries so in simple word mean is the weighted sum of possible values are also weighted by their probabilities getting guys suppose if you have any doubts please post your doubt in the comment section now i will explain with the example you are going to understand in an easy way now this is an example to find out the mean that is a longer average i'm considering an example of a men's soccer team saucer team plays a saucer uh, zero one or two days a week right so this men's saucer team plays a football yeah saucer i can consider a football uh, saucer when they will play zero one or two days a week zero one or two days a week so this is my x so this is a expected value table to find out the mean i am con constructing this table so x what is my x x these are my values when they are going to play the saucer either zero one day or two days so x is zero one or two now what is the probability the probability that they play zero days is two zero point two the probability that they play one day is 0 0.5 the probability that they play two days is 0 0.3 so that is denoted by p of x so they will play for zero days what is the probability 0 0.2 for one day 0 0.5 for two days 0 0.3 so what is the definition here mean is the weighted sum of all possible values so this is my possible values 0 1 2 weighted by their probabilities and also I have to consider the probabilities of 0, 1, 2. What are those probabilities? 0 0.2, 0 0.5, 0 0.3. 
now what i have to find i have to find the long term average long term average is also same expected value is also same mean is also same i am going to find the mean value right mean value of the number of days per week the men's team plays is asked they can play zero days they can play one day or two days but what is the probability to find out that to find out the mean see here what i am going to do means so this is my values 0 1 2 this is my probabilities so according to the formula what i have to do i have to multiply values with the probability of values vi is values p of vi is probability of values i am going to multiply my values with the probability of values you can see here i am doing this so 0 into 0.2 i am multiplying this what is the value 0 1 into 0.5 what is the value 0.5 Two into zero point three. What is the value? Zero point six. To find out the mean value, I have calculated x into p of x. So this is the formula. Now, what is the last step? Mean indicates the center of the probability distribution. I have to find the sum of all these values and the probabilities, right? I have to find the sum. Now I will find out the sum. You can see here what is the sum. Sum is zero plus zero point five plus zero point six. So see. So what is the value now? What is the mean value? One point one. So the expected value or mean value is one point one. That means the men's soccer team would, on the average, expect to play soccer one point one days per week. So this is the probability. The men's soccer team. right would, would play expected to play 1.1 days per week so any doubts if you have any doubts please put your doubts in the comment section right so the number of 1.1 the number 1.1 what is that it is a long term average or it's a mean right if the men's soccer team plays soccer week after week after week don't get confused guys very simple so mean is what is the sum of possible values and also weighted by their probabilities you need to find the sum of possible value and weighted probabilities so now see here i did that these are the possible values so these are the possible values and uh, p of x are p of x is the probability now i multiplied it this is the formula i multiplied the values with the probabilities and i calculated the sum sum is what 1.1 so suppose if you have any doubts please post your doubt in the comment section so this is the concept of mean now i will move to the concept of variance so variance so variance as the definition says variance is the expected value of the squared variation of a random variable from its mean value right variance is the expected value of the squared variation of a random variable from its mean value very simple don't get confused i will explain with example and informally informally i can tell variance as variance estimates how far a set of numbers are spread out from their mean values mean value is always considered as a center you know that mean value should always considered as a center value if you consider the mean as a center value variance tells that how far the value spread out from your centered value i will explain it example no worries okay variance is symbolically represented by variance of x or s square right or pi square like that so the formula for the variance is given by sum of xi minus mu of all square into p of xi don't get confused i will explain with example okay see for example the following probability distribution tells us the probability that a certain saucer team scores a certain number of goals in a given game don't get confused this table is going to give the probability of certain number of goals that a saucer team can score so to find out the variance 
so what is the formula you know that this formula already right here xi means the ith value mu means the mean of the distribution that means the center value p of x is the probability of that particular value so here what are my values 0 1 2 3 4 are my x of i i stands for 0 for first 1 for second value 2 for third value like that x i means x of 0 x of 1 x of 2 x of 3 x of 4 like that now mu means uh, mean mean value i'll calculate that i'll show how to calculate that i already know that also p of x i means probability of all these values the probability of 0 probability of 1 probability of 2 probability of 3 and probability of 4 hope you are understanding the concept suppose if you have any doubts please post your doubts in the comment section now what i have to do i have to find out the mean because you know that variance to find out the variance of the number first i have to find out the center based on the center value i can find out how much your number is varied okay so the mean i am going to calculate here so to calculate the mean you know the formula right i have to multiply xi with p of x 0 into 0 0.28 1 into 0 0.34 2 into 0 0.35 3 into 0 0.11 4 into 0 0.02 so when you consider x of i into p of x then you have to find out the sum you know that already i explained it so what is the mean here 1.45 so they can what is the number of goals they can score what is the probability 1.45 goals they can score so now i calculated the mean value now i want to calculate the variance so to calculate the variance i have to apply the formula you already know that sum of summation of x i minus mu of whole square into p of x so you have to do the summation here so see first i will uh, take these values you already know these values 0 1 2 3 4 and probability of all those goals okay now i will apply the values for the variance the variance is simply the sum of values in the third column you know that variance formula don't get confused guys so what is the x value here 0 minus 1.5 now to mu is what is the mean mu is at mean you know that mu stands for mean so i am minus i am doing the minus 0 minus 1.5 very simple calculation please don't get confused into p of x what is the probability 0 0.18 see for consider the first value goal is 0 probability is 0 0.8 so xi stands for the value 0 probability p of x stands for the 0 0.18 i just substituted it now what is mu mu is nothing but mean i already find out the mean 1.45 so i i substitute all this value 0 minus 1.45 whole square into 0 0.18 i'm going to get 0.3.785 this is the variance of the value 0 now what is the variance of the value 1 same thing substitute the values 1 is my xi value again mean is 1.45 probability is 0 0.34 so i'm going to get 0 0.689 so simple substitution guys i have to substitute all the values now listen carefully i calculated all the values of all the i calculated sorry i calculated yeah i calculated variance of all the values what is the variance of 0 what is the variance of 1 what is the variance of 2 what is the variance of 3 and what is the variance of 4 that is 0 0.3785, 0 0.6689, 0 1.059, 0 0.2643, 0 0.1301. Now, the variance, I have to find out the final variance, right? How to find out that means, I have to add this all the variance to get the final variance. This are the, all these variances should be added to get the final variance. So, the variance is simply the sum of the values in the third column. What is the sum? 0 0.3785 plus 0 0.689 plus 1.0 plus 0 0.1059 plus 0 0.2643 plus 0 0.1307. So, what is the final variance here? 0 0.9475 is the final variance. Very simple concept. 
Suppose if you have any doubt, please post your doubt in the comment section. Now, explanation of mean is over. Explanation of variance is over. Now, we will move to the explanation of standard deviation. So, very simple. Standard deviation is denoted by, right, uh, sigma. So, and it is known, it is a square root of the variance. Standard deviation is what? Square root of the variance. Very simple. Consider this example only. So, what is my variance? 0 0.95, 0 0.9475 is my variance. So, standard deviation is what? Square root of 0 0.9475. So, your standard deviation will be 0 0.9475. If you find out the square root of 0 0.9475, that's a variance variance from the previous example, you are going to get the value of standard deviation. So, standard deviation is given by the formula square root of variance. So, what is the square variance here in the previous example? That is 0 0.9475. So, what is the standard deviation? That is square root of 0 0.9475. So, this one. So, standard deviation is given by the value, so formula square root of variance. Sigma is equal to square root of, square root of variance. So, hope you understood the concept. Suppose if you have any doubts, please post your doubts in the comment section. Thank you. Thank you for watching the video.